Well, how are you doing today? I think I want to talk off the cuff today. That's right. I want to just talk to you. You know, people are having such hard time and families are having just tough times today. And it has really been uh, disturbing me. It has really uh, caused me some sort of pain and frustration uh, to see all of the uh, people who are struggling today in our world today, especially families. But what's really uh, cons unconcerning to me is the fact uh, that there are children who are suffering like never before in this kind of isolation, uh, a, a sort of, of abandonment. In fact, I'd read recently uh, in some studies where it says that young people are, in fact, committing uh, suicide and doing things to themselves that normally they would not do. In fact, if they had, you know, friendships and kinships and, you know, other peers that are around them all the time. Uh, and they could go to the places that we went to when we were kids. But I'm here to tell you that I believe that this is a year of shift. That's right. God is going to change a whole lot of things for the better. You know, we used to sing a song, this too will pass and trouble don't last always. And that is so true. So often we think that what we're going through, we're going to be going through that thing for the rest of our lives. And it looks like it has no end to it. But I want you to know, God's words tells us that God is still in control. We used to sing a song in a saying, it's in the Bible, that God sits high and looks low and guides our feet wherever we go. And so today, I want to remind you, there's a shift coming in your life. That's right. God is going to do something different in 2022 that he's never done before. And you are part of his plan you know, so often we give up too soon. Uh, I remember one time that there was a oil rig on a piece of land and the owner was trying to get some oil to come out of the rig and it never would come. He got frustrated, angry, and he gave up on the rig by selling his property. No oil is ever going to come on this land. And the new owner came to the uh, rig. Uh, he just had, he had the drill and he just drilled about five, 10 feet down into the ground and there gushed out of the ground uh, uh, all this oil. The other landowner could have had it, but he gave up just a little bit too soon. Whatever you do, don't give up too soon because God has not given up on you. That's what the Bible is all about. When we read stories in the Bible, the stories are not really for the person that uh, it actually happened to. The stories are really for us, and they have deep meaning for us today. For example, when you read the story of the ten leopard men who come to Jesus and they need a physical healing because they have this contagious disease that they have contracted. They are isolated, and they're not allowed to be around the community of people. They had to go into certain kinds of leper uh, camps. Uh, and so they met Jesus, and Jesus told them uh, as they came to say, please have mercy on us. Jesus said, go uh, go uh, wash, uh, you are cleansed, and um, go show yourself to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed, which means that their trouble didn't last always. Ten of them were cleansed. And when we read about uh, the woman who had 12 issues of blood, she came and touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. And we think that that story is for the woman who touched the uh, hem of Jesus' garment, who was made whole, that that story is for them. No, that story is for you. And what Jesus is saying to you, if you just uh, get around him, touch him through your prayer, touch him through your reading of scripture, touch him through your faith, then you will discover that you too will be healed by your faith, because Jesus is going to say, uh, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. And so I want you to know that you need to just try to increase your faith, your trust in Jesus. Uh, we used to sing a song, turn it over to Jesus and let him just work it out because there's going to be a shift. Can you just say that today? Say shift. There's a shift coming. A change is coming in your life. Job went through a whole lot of uh, problems, trials, and tribulations, but there was a shift, and he knew it in advance. In fact, he said it in his word that uh, a change is coming. I know that my change is going to come, and I'm going to wait till that appointed time of the change. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep on keeping on, as the old people used to say. So I want you to know today, your shift is coming. Your day is coming. 
as there was a miracle for the uh, woman with the 12 issues of blood, as there were miracles for the 10 leprous men, uh, there is also your time coming too. And you're going to be all right. Don't do like the man who sold his property too soon, got rid of uh, his business as an oil, uh, 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 oil man, if you will, and uh, keep the rig there. And you'll discover that just a little deeper and you're coming out of this thing. God bless you. Hope you have a great day. Enjoyed you. Be blessed. <laughs>